Welcome to Windy City Wrestling. I'm your host, Alan Eppenstein, bringing you the finest in professional wrestling each and every week. This week's show features Larry the Bull against Beach Boy Sonny Rogers. In addition to that, you'll see the Texas Hangman taking on J.T. Southern and Big Bubba. Doing color commentary, Paul E. Dangerously. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Now. Indy City Wrestling, Scott Thomas at ringside, ready to bring you the action of this match. This is strength against quickness. Larry the Bull has it on his mind to become the WCW Windy City Wrestling heavyweight champion. And Sonny Rogers, along with his partner, Johnny Stewart, have their goals set on the WCW Tag Team Championship. This is a big match for both men. Certainly the winner of this match is going to move his way up the rankings here on WCW Windy City Wrestling, Larry the Bull, showing off that fabulous physique for the crowd and the two men lock up and look at the strength of Larry the Bull. From the stockyards of Chicago, I guess he built that strength throwing around sides of beef just like they were cotton. By the way, Beach Boy partner Johnny Stewart of Sonny Rogers is on a Singapore tour right now. Touring Singapore, but he'll be back on WCW Windy City action before you know it. And Sonny and Johnny will be pursuing the WCW Tag Team Championship. Now this is good, huh? Larry the Bull says Sonny Rogers was pulling hair. What hair, Larry? The little bit he's got has been nicely sculptured in the back, thank you. Sonny Rogers with a healthy hair, healthy head of hair, the Beach Boy look. And Sonny Rogers, of course, an authentic Beach Boy from Marina Del Rey, California. Larry the Bull living up to his nickname. Sonny Rogers starting a chant of buckwheat, and Larry the Bull wants none of that. I don't know, Sonny. This is a big man. Not sure you want to get him riled up. But the crowd sure does. And there's one fan that is hoping Sonny Rogers can take out Larry the Bull. I'd have to think Larry the Bull is a favorite in this match simply because of... And again, the buckwheat chant right above us. As I was saying, Larry the Bull with about a 40-pound weight advantage over Sonny Rogers. Sonny Rogers announced at 225. Larry the Bull announced at 262. But I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he's carrying an additional 10 pounds on that big frame. But Sonny Rogers showing his quickness. And that is the way to beat a big man, by get him off his feet. Sonny Rogers wasting no time following up. Oh, going for a beel throw or a hip toss. Couldn't tell which from this vantage point. Larry the Bull put on the brakes and they both went crashing down. And now Sonny Rogers gets that hip toss with the leverage. Larry the Bull reversing it. Rogers down for the count of two and almost a quick pin. Boy, that would have been something. Larry the Bull, you can clearly see right there, grabbing the trunks. Again, the referee out of position to see what Larry the Bull was up to. And now Larry the Bull clearly grabbing hair. The referee breaks that up. And Sonny Rogers doing what he'll have to do to win this match and keep the big man Larry the Bull off his feet. Doesn't matter if you're 200 pounds or 400 pounds, you're about the same weight when you're on the match laying, on the mat laying down. And Sonny Rogers can get way above that mat with a flying drop kick that knocks Larry the Bull out of the ring. Larry the Bull pleading his case out there saying he grabbed trunks, but it's hard to grab trunks with your feet. And the feet were planted right upside the head of one Larry the Bull. Sonny Rogers getting the crowd going. And I'd have to say by crowd reaction that the crowd is about 100% behind Sonny Rogers, the man from Marina Del Rey, California. One half of the Beach Boys, one of the exciting tag team combinations here in Windy City Wrestling. Oh, what a suplex. A belly-to-back suplex. Sonny Rogers was trying to go up the ropes for additional leverage on that hip toss, and Larry the Bull caught him in midair in a belly-to-back suplex. Now Larry the Bull takes Sonny Rogers into the turnbuckle, and right above us, choking him on the top rope, 
And the referee calling for the break. He's got the count of five. And he does break at the count of four. But a lot of damage can be done in a four count. Now back into the turnbuckle and throws him across the ring. Oh, my. Sonny Rogers must have been five feet in the air when he hit the ground. Larry the Bull is awesome. This guy has muscles where other people don't even have muscles. One arm slam coming up. No, a shoulder breaker by Larry the Bull. Sonny Rogers down two, and he kicks out. Sonny Rogers still with enough strength to muster a kick out, but that was a count of two, and you can see that when both men are on their feet, the advantage goes to Larry the Bull, but he misses. Sonny Rogers off. Cross body block two. Oh, and Larry the Bull kicks out. Don't go away. More wrestling action coming up on WCW. Windy City Wrestling. Don't go away. It's time for action. How do you like your ribs? To our tremendous television taping and fall wrestling extravaganza coming to the International Amphitheater Friday night, September 30th. You'll see the Battle of the Bam Bams with Terry Bam Bam Gordy versus Bam Bam Bigelow. In addition to that, Steve Regal, the original Midnight Express, Candy Devine, and an all-star lineup. For ticket information, call the International Amphitheater box office at 254-1750. Or to charge your tickets by phone, call Ticketmaster at 559-1212. Tickets are available at the box office and at all Ticketmaster locations. We'll see you September 30th. Now let's return to our match already in progress. Goes for the armbar with a twist way out on the end, trying to make that elbow bend the way it shouldn't go. Twisting that arm. He may try to bend that thumb inward, too, to add every bit of pressure on the tendons all the way up and down the arm. Larry the Bull now reverses it and smashes that tricep muscle right near the shoulder. And now he's going to use the rope for extra leverage. And many times you will see a big man in that ring go for the shoulder of a smaller man and try to take away one of those wings. Now using the middle rope for choking leverage. Larry the Bull knows he is in there against a tough customer in Sonny Rogers and he's pulling out all the stops now right above us and a slingshot off and again the strength of Larry the Bull slingshotting Sonny Rogers three quarters of the way across that ring Rogers gasping for air and Larry the Bull holds up a fist and says things are going my way stomp to the midsection in the corner all the way across the ring and out down onto the concrete floor Sonny Rogers hit hard on that concrete floor holding his back trying to get his wits about him he'll have a 10 count to get back in Larry the Bull content to pose I don't know where the referees count is but Sonny Rogers oh, Larry the Bull just uh, just helped Sonny Rogers a little bit he must have been getting close to that 10 count but Larry the Bull interfered the referees count giving Sonny Rogers a little bit of time to collect himself but that knee to the side of the head just below the inner ear not only hurts, but that's got to disrupt the balance of Sonny Rogers. And balance and quickness is what Sonny Rogers has going for him when he's on his game. Power, on the other hand, is what Larry the Bull counts on. Now Sonny Rogers slingshots himself in, going for a sunset flip, and he's got him over. Can he keep him down? One, two, no. Almost. Sonny Rogers almost turning the tables on Larry the Bull. Larry the Bull kicked out just in the nick of time and now sends Sonny Rogers for a wide. What's happening? Misses with the clothesline, but he catches him a power slam. Oh, my. Larry the Bull with a monster power slam, catching Sonny Rogers full speed off the ropes, and he goes for the press. One, two, and Sonny Rogers kicks out. Larry the Bull a little bit cavalier about that cover. I think if he'd have gone for it right away, he'd have had him. Sonny Rogers coming off again. Back body drop. Comes down right on the tailbone. Right on the tailbone. That will jar every vertebra right up to the cervical vertebra at the top of the neck. Sonny Rogers reversing with a small package, but they're against the ropes, and the referee is going to call for a break. Sonny Rogers trying to... trying some desperation maneuvers here to try to get a victory over this big man from the stockyards of Chicago, Larry the Bull, here on WCW. Windy City Wrestling coming to you this match from the world-famous International Amphitheater in Chicago. Think of the great matches that have gone down in this arena. Sonny Rogers now in the corner asking the crowd. Monkey flip coming out. Boom. Larry the Bull, I'm telling you, when he hits the mat, 
There's some whole lot of shaking going on. Now Rodgers with the ball and a drop kick. And he caught him right smack on the ear. Right in the side of the head. And Sonny Rogers moving quickly goes for the body slam. Hey, Sonny Rogers showing some strength of his own. He picked up a man 40 pounds his larger and dropped him like a sack of potatoes and goes for a victory smash. And Larry the Bull put on the middle rope. Oh, got up quickly, clothesline. That could be a two, three, and that's all she wrote. Larry the Bull out of nowhere with a clothesline. And he moves one step up the rung toward a championship match with Steve Regal, WCW champ. Larry the Bull from the Stockyards of Chicago, your winner over Sonny Rogers. And Sonny Rogers is in the middle of the ring gasping for air while Larry the Bull makes his way back to the dressing room and the winner's share of the purse. And there is how it happened. Larry the Bull with a clothesline from behind quickly doing in Sonny Rogers on WCW Windy City Wrestling. We'll be back with more mad action. Don't go away, fans. Now, introducing Wrestling Trivia. Hey, oh my. Hey, and I'm your guest commentator, Paul E. Dangerous. I hate them too, you know. Well, I'm Scott Thomas, and you heard him introduce himself. Joining me at ringside for some expert, expert commentary. That's right, expert. As in former, or as an expert? You want to be a wise man with me, my friend. You're going to learn real quick that you better have more guts than brains when you're dealing with Paulie Dangerously. Mr. Don't Dangerously. get on my bad side, man, because you won't know what happened to you. The now, action. should be two professional commentators out here and call the action, and you won't have any trouble, okay? If you want to have trouble with Paulie Dangerously, look up the name Tommy Rich. Look up the name Jerry Lawler. Look up the name Scott Hall. Look up the name the Midnight Rockers. And then you'll see what happens when you live dangerously with Paul E. Now let's just call the action and don't get on my back, brother. When I look up, I see the action in the ring. And we've got a top-notch main event type And when you look team. down, you see your Man. future. But anyway. J.T. Southern, a fan favorite, against one of the Texas hangmen. Can you tell them apart? Is that psycho or is that killer? I don't know. I've, I've seen these guys wrestle before, but I'm not too familiar in how to distinguish the two. I got to be honest with you. I once had a chat with them in the dressing room, and they have their masks on there, and they took showers with the mask on. I, I kind of offered them shampoo, but you know, they really didn't need it. But uh, anyway, uh, I really don't know which is which, but they are both fine athletes, and I got to uh, really admit that they have earned the respect of the Dangerous Alliance. Well, they're up against two tough customers in J.T. Southern and Big Bubba. J.T. Southern, I have absolutely no respect for on the other hand. J.T. Southern and D.J. Peterson want to try to take the World Tag Team Championship from my boys, Loverboy Dennis and Ravishing Randy, the original Midnight Express. And, of course, they couldn't do it. But anyway, uh, J.T. is a hippie, and J.T. is... He's a frustrated rock star who thinks he's David Lee Roth, and I don't know what kind of tights those are, but I think they should be outlawed because I find them vulgar, and if he wants to be in porno movies, maybe he better go in the men's room and size himself up because he has no place in a professional wrestling ring. Some would argue, especially the female fans at ringside, that he is stylish and does, in fact, resemble David Lee Roth, yeah, and but some of the ladies... Didn't mind looking at him, Mr. Danger. Yeah, yeah, but you know, if, yeah, but you see, they don't mind looking at Robert Redford either, but he ain't gonna get into the ring and kick butt. Now, you know, you look at the members of the Dangerous Alliance, you look at Austin Idol, you look at Loverboy Dennis, you look at Ravishing Randy, you look at the Terminators, look at Paulie Dangerous. You see, we're all good looking guys, but see, we can back up what we say. I don't have to back up what I say, because I got Austin Idol, the original Midnight Express, and the Terminators to back it up for me, but see, JT, Here's, here's this guy, and I mean, so what? He's good looking. Let him put out a poster. This is not a beauty contest. This is professional wrestling. We're fighting for money. This guy, Big Bubba, now he impresses me. That's a big, big man. Whoa. He's a monster. Oh, he yeah. is a monster. Look at the upper body strength on the man. And I don't think he's in there to look pretty. He's in there to get the job done. Oh, yeah. I mean, Bubba is a big, 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 big man. Oh, yeah. look at him. He picked up. 
one of the Texas hangmen and threw him like he was a sack of feathers. Hey, these mics are on. Do you have this guy's phone number? Oh, they are on? Uh, they are on. Oh, just pay attention to the matches, okay? Gee! Oh, my. He'll Big Bubba. Oh, man. Uh, oh, right now this is men against boys. Big Bubba. Man. This and the Texas hangman has had enough, oh. and the other one comes in. I don't know if it's killer, I don't know if it's psycho, but they're both seeing stars at the hands of Big Bubba. Do we have a commercial coming up at all? Uh, no, we're going to stay with this match until its conclusion. Oh. Man. Why do you ask? Man. Uh, none of your business, man. Don't ask me personal questions, okay? All right. Uh, I'm just here to uh, I'm just here to call the play by play. Okay, well, and we'll do it. Oh, oh, big drop kick. Ah oh, man, you see, only reason he got away with that is because Bubba wore the guy down. I'll tell you something about that big Bubba. The bigger they and are. Another one, right square on the jaw. When Paul it, E. Dangerously, you can't tell me that JT Southern doesn't pack style, size, speed, everything that a professional wrestler yeah, needs to be a well, winner. He puts some pride in his stride. He has some style on his profile, but I don't respect the guy. I don't like him. I think he's a hippie. I think he needs a haircut. I think he better learn how to wrestle more than more than he knows how to how to really uh, you know, how to just show his body and, you know, wear, wear bikini briefs and say, hey, check it out, you know. I, he doesn't impress me. He hangs out at the beach and he tries to pick up women. I'm more interested in if he can kick butt and take names and make money. You know, when, when it comes to Big Bubba, though, now that's a big, mean guy. But I've always said the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Bubba says they don't fall so often. <laughs> but Bubba says they, the bigger they are, the harder they hit. Yeah, but, you know, Bubba says they don't fall so often, but they do fall. At the hands of... The Pauly dangerously stable, I suppose. I don't have a stable. I have an alliance. An alliance. There are people that are under my direct management. There are people that are associates, and there are people that are merely friends. Uh, there are very few people under my direct management. Loverboy Dennis, Ravishing Randy, Riggs and Wolf, the Terminators, Austin Idol, they're under my direct management. Colonel De Beers is under my direct management. Uh, there are some people, like Abdul the Butcher. I don't directly manage Abdullah. He's an associate of the Dangerous Alliance. Is Abdullah manageable? No, he's not. He even scares me. He's totally out of control. That he, man has got to be the most dangerous man in professional wrestling he, right now. He even scares me, and that's why I like him, because if I have a problem with somebody and I pay Abdullah the Butcher enough money, I know my problem is going to be taken care of. Woo! There's a devastating One, maneuver two, by the three. Texas well, it's been real nice two, hanging three. out here. Oh. oh. Hey, guys. I'm not getting paid by the hour here, so can you wrap up this match? Because, you know, I, I personally like to not sit next to this creep anymore, okay? Double-teaming double JT Southern, and I will attempt to maintain an unbiased position with you here. Uh, you know, if you don't like me, I don't care. I'm the highest-rated thing in professional wrestling today. It's not your job to like me, man. And if you don't want to be well, sitting here good, next to me... that's good, because it'd be tough to do that job. Hey, partner. look, man, if you don't like sitting here... Oh, no! J.T. Sutter turns the table. This could be it. Oh! That's good teamwork. See, that's good teamwork. That's the kind of teamwork that you'll see Riggs and Wolf, the Terminator shooting. That's the kind of teamwork you'll see Love and Boy Dennis and Ravishing Randy, the former world tag team champion, the original Small man. Small package the right in front of us. Put on the ropes! Oh, he's in the ropes. Hey, ref, put on the ropes, ropes, man. Put on the ropes. ropes. Hey, the referee's doing his job. He saw it. This Eddie. referee, Eddie Shark, yeah, I tell you, he, he, he's kind of a funny-looking guy himself, you know, but I'm not here to belittle referees. I, I kind of well, respect Well, it's a tough referees. job, especially in a tag team match. Any, any, referees. Man, any man that has a Swing power shot. to find me money, that's it. Okay, well, it's been nice talking to you, man. Oh, he's not going to pin him. picked him up. Hey, guys, I'm not getting paid by the hour, okay? Now, there's a case where he should have gone for the pinfall, I believe, neckbreaker. He's just trying to inflict more damage. Sometimes well, you, that can backfire on you. Well, you see, that's why the Texas hangmen are not members of the Dangerous Alliance, and that's why they're not even associates of us, because they do have a lot to learn. Maybe one day they, we may be interested in a pro. J.T. Southern clothesline turning the tables. He's trying to get I've, back to his corner. He's going to tag out, and here comes Big Bubba. I've about had Big it Bubba with comes in, Southern, man. And Big Bubba's on fire. Oh. A double clothesline. Both Texas hangmen are oh. down. I've had it with these Big two. Big Bubba. I've had it with these two. They think... If All they, four men in the ring. It's breaking loose. JT Southern has one. I'm going to put up with this. They're crazy. JT Southern has one hangman. Big Bubba has the other. The referee has lost control of his match. In both corners, and Paul E. Dangerously has gotten up and is going ringside. Wait a second. Paul E. Dangerously, you saw it right here. You saw it. Paul E. Dangerously clubbed JT Southern with a phone. One, two, three, and it's over. And Paul E. Dangerously, as he's done so many times before, interfering in the match. 
The referee didn't see it. And what's the decision? All right, we're going to see it right here. The winners. We saw it. Now you can see Killer it. and Psycho, the Texas Hangman. Here we go there, right there. Paul E. Dangerously up on the ring apron, clubbing J.T. Southern with the phone. Referee was occupied in the other corner with Big Bubba and the other Texas Hangman, and there you see him on top of one, two, three. And like it or not, that's the decision. Your winner is the Texas Hangman on WCW Wrestling. Thanks in part to Paul E. Dangerously. We'll be back. So, did you make the team? Oh, my goodness, all that. I knew how to make Jimmy smile. Flaky. A homemade pie with Crisco's flaky crust and a confession from Dad. Some football. You know, your father. Oh, look, sports your favorite. Cherry pie. All oh, right. Your father was cut four times before he made it. You were that bad? No, I wasn't that bad. Nothing beats the smile that greets your Crisco home cooking. Just give me honest work at honest pay. Honest sweat from honest play. And when I'm through, that's when I'll say, I want my clean as real as I breathe. It's got to be 99.44. I want my clean as real as I breathe. Nothing less, nothing more. If you're looking for the real clean you can only get from a pure soap, you want ivory. It's got to be pure, that's for sure. I want my clean as real as I breathe. Why is this man still up with his cold, sniffling through tissue after tissue, counting his coughs and sneezes, wrestling with aches and pains? Why is he suffering instead of resting? Why? Because he's holding out for the medicine that works best for him. Cherry-flavored NyQuil. It's the great-tasting nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can rest medicine. In original flavor, too. Don't bother. We're out of business. Why? The Marshall's anniversary party? As I was setting the table, I, I noticed, noticed them. Noticed what? Uh, spots. Spots on everything. I tried wiping them off. But maybe they didn't notice. We noticed. The party's over for this catering business. Noticing spots on your dishes? You're not using Cascade. Cascade Sheeting Action gets dishes virtually spotless. These dishes look great. It's the yeah. back. Ooh. Can we handle their annual dinner? Beautifully. Beautifully. For virtually spotless dishes, nothing beats Cascade. Don't forget to join us for our television spectacular and the Battle of the Bam Bams, Friday night, September 30th, at the International Amphitheater. For ticket information, call the box office today at 254-1750, or to charge your tickets by phone, call 559-1212. We'll see you next week on Windy City Wrestling. You Can't Take It With You, starring Harry Morgan, is just an hour away. Now it's time to spend an hour with the powerful women of wrestling, next on Saturday Night at Ringside.